So this is editing Josh, and I just realized that I totally forgot to film an intro for this video, but it's a good one and I address a very important recurring question, so stick around till the end. First, let's go on a little adventure. So one thing I've been terrible at since um, moving to LA is actually making the most of my time here and exploring. I lived so close to the beach that, to be completely honest, I just like never really want to leave. So today we're changing that and we're actually going down to downtown LA and we get some cool pics see what happens. Now we cross our fingers and hope there's no traffic. Before I head downtown, I have to actually head over and pick up a friend. And you definitely know her if you watch the Hawaii vlog. Why don't we go back to your bedroom? Now that we're back from our trip uh, to downtown LA for the day, I actually wanted to talk a little bit about what the intended purpose for this video was. Um, for the long time subscribers, obviously I mentioned this a lot, but I just graduated from Yale. And at Yale, I studied computer science. And for some reason, all these new subscribers can't understand why anyone would possibly want to go to Yale to study engineering when you would want to go there for you know law, history, or whatever else you wanted to study. And maybe this is a hot take, but Kind of feel like studying engineering at a liberal arts school is such a cool and unique experience and it's so underrated and so i wanted to talk a little bit about that today and bring on laura laura you want to introduce yourself and talk about what you study at yale sure so my name is laura and i studied mechanical engineering at yale <laughs> do you want more so to get into it first of all a lot of these other like big engineering schools you think of like mit or georgia tech you're going there and 70 80 percent of the people there are engineers which don't get me wrong it's cool it's a lot of cool people to collaborate but you're getting a lot of the same types of people and a lot of the same types of brains, um, people that are interested in the same things. And at a school like Yale, you get such a larger variety. Are the engineering programs objectively not as good or not ranked as high? Yeah. But what are you also getting? The experience of Yale and the experience of getting to talk and you know develop and you know build new ideas with a much more diverse group of thinkers and group of people that are studying a bunch of different things yeah well i also think that with almost any engineering major you could buy the textbooks yourself and learn most of the material you would learn in the classroom on your own and i think what really defines your college experience is going to be the peers that you study alongside with um, and you're just going to have a very different experience at a liberal arts school rather than at a technical school um, and i think every single person is going to have their own unique opinion on where they think they would thrive more. The two of us were definitely a lot more pulled towards the idea of studying with a lot of different people from different backgrounds and different interests and getting that experience with our peers as well as with other engineering majors and I think that added to the value of my engineering degree personally. And it's that's not to say that like schools like MIT or Georgia Tech don't have diversity per se. It's just you can't go and talk to, you know, somebody who's studying philosophy or somebody who's studying, you know, classics at a school like there and get their opinion on certain things and kind of get their viewpoints. So it's just it's just cool that there was such an amalgamation of different people with different interests and it wasn't just gung ho engineering. And yeah. did, did, did we have slightly less engineering resources per se? Yes, but like Laura was saying earlier, a lot of the you know fundamental things that you're learning can be taught to yourself. Anyways, at no point did I feel like I didn't have the resources to help me succeed. Mm -hmm. There could always be more, but I like really enjoyed the time that we had, even our extracurricular activities, we were both in like the Aerospace Association and we got plenty of funding and help and you know, technical expertise that kind of backed the programs and the projects that we were working on. Yeah, I completely agree. And I think there was even added value in having such a smaller 
class size of engineers, I felt like I got to be a lot closer with everybody else in my major and have much more opportunity to learn about their passions and interests and what motivated them to become engineers than I think I maybe would have gotten at a school where there were thousands of other engineering majors. Like the CS degree at Yale, which is, was Yale's biggest engineering major, was like 70 or 80 people and what mechanical engineering was less than 20? Yeah, around 20. So any of all, focus on my face, yeah, get in the background. So any of you all that were trying to tell me that studying engineering at Yale was a terrible idea, I hope this video kind of informed and maybe changed your opinion. So as usual, the comment section and my Instagram DMs are open if you have any questions. Drop a like on this video, right? like, like, helps me and supports the channel a lot more than you think, and I'll see you next time.